Hello guys, it's your boy Bardo Plays and yeah, today we got again an EX tier list, okay, not again that much, but well, I decided to record today an EX tier list for a few reasons. One, my last EX tier list, even though like we di didn't get to this point in UEX, I highly disagree now with the opinion I had back then. And I want to remake it so people don't think shit of me, to be honest. I, 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 and I really just want to say my opinions. That's what YouTube all about. Like, it's YouTube. Ha, 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 ha. I'm such a funny guy. And yeah, of course, if you disagree, just comment it. Don't be a dickhead. And... Yeah, let's get to dead ass last place. Please don't call me fat. I prefer the term. Okay, last place is big fat mommy. And yeah, like in the anime, she is utterly useless in this game. She's getting stomped, she's getting bullied, she's getting pushed around. And yeah, unfortunately, she's pretty bad. We need a new good big mom, to be honest. Like, damn, she's useless right now. And bro, like, for the new players, she's really bad. And not every extreme unit is good. Everyone after her is decently useful or super good for the new players. But don't use her. Don't level up her up. It's really useless. <clears throat> Sorry for my voice right now. And yeah, like it, like one and a half or two years ago, she was like peak because she countered like Blackbeard and it was pretty good. But yeah, she fell off pretty hard. Like, bro, she fell down the stairs. And let's go to the next place. Hey, yo, what the f***? Next place is Shanks. Shanks is a pretty decent unit and in good hands, he is deadly, very deadly. And if, well, every player would play skillfully with him and he would work like this in the meta, he would be top of the list easily. But so many people play like shit, like dog shit with him. That's why he's pretty, sh pretty shit right now, to be honest. Like, most people don't know how to play him or just it's just impossible because they're getting bullied and... Yeah, the other units are just faster or smarter. Like, yeah, it is how it is. It is how it is. And, yeah. Shang's still very outdated. He's, like, one of the first EX. So, it is how it is. I'm really saying that way too often. Want to buy a box of Thin Mints? Sure. I'll take two boxes. How about two million? No, one million. Okay. I want to take a pay. Okay, so we now got a big black motherfucker named Marshall D. Teach. Or for some people... Black beard. Black beard is pretty strong. He's pretty strong. And in this meta, he's pretty decent. You you don't need to think too much. You just need to watch out for some units like EX Luffy, like most of the new units, but you, you can play pretty well. It's not that hard to play with him. And it's honestly fun. Like he's still a very fun unit and a and decently to use. Like i and he's super good for support, like what which makes him even better. Right now he's at this place and I think it's pretty fair. I think it's pretty fair. Blackbeard is I think he will always be quite decent and never really fall off that hard like big mom or shit like that. I think he's built to be a forever kind of unit if you know what I mean. Like same goes for Akainu, Roger. Oh every new unit right now I would say, like every new EX. Yeah, let's go on. This unit and many people will not try to hang me to shoot in my head and fucking roast me. And that is why, uh, why, why did I take Kaido in this place? Kaido, pretty strong unit. But I think this player base is just utterly stupid. Like, they, they, it's, bro, surprisingly, they're surprisingly bad playing defenders. I think they're just not used to it or something like shit like that. But there are as much good players with Kaidos as there are with Shanks. And it's really disappointing that so many people just don't know how to play him. And he has a good amount of flaws, a good amount of counters already. 
he I don't think he's really that high many people are good with him so he's gonna be automatically higher for them but bro even you bro OP Kaido players need to agree with me that in this meta he ain't the shit like I think you know what I mean right Make my shit straight, bitch -ass nigga. next two and I'm gonna put them at switchable for me it's gonna be Odin and Yamato. You can switch them up. One is higher for the other. I think it's just generally preference and play style. If you are a dumbass guy that's most likely only wants to attack and not get flags that much, you are a Yamato player. And if you want to piss off people as most as possible in the community, then you are a Yamato player. If you are a rat, if you are a genuine runner, you will play Odin. And that's like that's how I would say it would be. I I I really understand why people would put the other one over the other one and so on, and why there is a lot of uh, discussions on who is better in the game and many conflicts coming from that, and not family friendly words. You know it. Like yeah, it's a pretty hard. Like, both are top tier runners, so I'm gonna put them. On the same tier, so we put this aside, this beef, if you know what I mean. I really, I, I think it's, it's I, it, let's be honest, one is sometimes better than the other, but we can easily put them on the same tier. They are both very strong. I would say even uh, like on the same tier, like I said, yeah, let's continue. <laughs> Next top three, some of them are switchable. Again, depends, but all three of them are meta machines. Let's start with Roger as number three for now. He is fucking insane. This guy is strong as hell. He is a pirate king because he is a pirate king. Yeah, he's he's very good. He can, if there isn't an Akaino on the other team and only ex Luffy's or other and other characters. He will be very OP. He can kill so many people in this meta. He's still so strong. And yeah, if I like, kind of slips up and does bad shit, he will also kill him. Like, bro, Roger is super good. He's very, he's, he's just good. There are almost no flaws with him. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, let's get to number two. Hamoud, 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 Habibi, Hamoud, Hamoud, Habibi. Number two, Sakazuki Akainu, the fleet admiral Akainu. He is very good. He's very strong. He has an invincible skill and incinerate, which would maybe even put him number one because that shit's fucking annoying. He's also decently tanky and yeah, everything on him is very just very super strong. And the only reason, like you already know, it's EX Luffy is above him is because he has more invincible skills. And it's just overall more annoying per se. Yeah, I would say that. And more easier to play. If you, I think the, that's how the situation looks like. And yeah, let's get to the number one first. Congratulations, you played yourself. Number one is EX Luffy, as I already said, the man who dreams of becoming the king of the pirates. Is very strong, and I didn't know Bane had it in it to destroy the game so much with a such OP unit. He he can be destroyed by some people under him, and yeah, it's sometimes a little bit even a little bit easier to play around him. But he's he has so many problems involving with his skills not working sometimes and shit, which makes him a default so good like tremors and knockback runner mode stun. He's very good, and yes, yeah, that's all. Like he's number one. He's the obvious number one. Sometimes other units are for me number one, but I really fought for it uh, for hours how I should rank this shit, and I really think that's how it's right. That's how it should be, and yeah, I think this is it with the video. Right? Oh my god, boys, if you've been long enough on this channel, you should know that I don't play games with you. I'm only showing you the creme de la creme. And I'm gonna show you the number one 
unit in this game, the number one EX unit, being Uso Hachi, the GOAT, the GOAT himself. Like, look at this guy. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he's the knockback king. <sighs> like and subscribe, fools, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.